Did you know that the largest lizard ever had a length of two cars and ruled over Australia not too long ago? It was a type of monitor lizard, like the Komodo dragon or the Nile monitor, only it was much larger. What did it look like? What did it eat? And why did it go extinct? These questions will be answered shortly, but first let's look at its evolution. This species is known as Megalania, or by its binomial name, Varanus priscus. Over millions of years, monitor lizards have evolved separately from all other reptiles, when they split from the Chinese crocodile lizard and the Borneo earless monitor, meaning that monitor lizards have lived through such events as the extinction of the dinosaurs. Today, monitor lizards have a wide distribution found across Africa, Asia and Oceania, filling different roles in the ecosystems they find themselves in. They first evolved in Australia and were able to spread into Asia 15 million years ago when they were connected by land. Monitor lizards are known for their forked tongues, which help them detect chemicals in their environment, much like snakes. They also have excellent eyesight, which aids in hunting and navigation. Their strong muscular tails are used for balance and defense. Additionally, their scales both offer camouflage and protection, although it is unlikely that Megalania was a prey animal. This would have allowed it to ambush its prey. In 1859, the discovery of massive bones in the wilds of Eastern Australia led to the naming of a new prehistoric giant, Megalania. Since then, numerous fossils have been found across Eastern Australia. The oldest fossils date to 1.5 million years ago, with the most recent ones being just 50,000 years old. During its reign over Australia, it would have been a keystone species amongst the continent's fauna during the Pleistocene. Until recently, it was thought the Megalania was most closely related to the Parenti, Australia's current largest lizard. This conclusion was made due to their geographic proximity and shared morphological characteristics. But now Megalania is considered to be most closely related to the Komodo dragon, the largest lizard alive today. Interestingly, Komodo dragons are known to have evolved in Australia around 3.8 million years ago, only able to spread when sea levels were low enough for a land bridge to form between New Guinea and Australia around 1.4 million years ago. As fossil evidence from Queensland has implied, the last Australian Komodo dragons died out 330,000 years ago, leaving just Megalania to rule Australia's reptile kingdom as the largest lizard in history. The exact size of Megalania is still one of the most heavily debated topics in paleontology, partially due to the lack of complete fossils. This means we have to take parts of Megalania, compare their size to current species like the Komodo dragon, and extrapolate their size. But this can be unreliable, as different species have different adaptations. And since we don't know the proportions of Megalania's bones, we cannot reliably scale it up. Most experts believe the average length was between 3 and 5.5 meters, with larger individuals reaching up to 7 meters or more in length, but possibly even bigger. But we just don't know due to the lack of complete fossils. Despite the lack of good fossils, we can almost certainly say that it was the biggest lizard in history. Most of these fossils consist of just the head, making it hard to reconstruct what the rest of the body would have looked like. But due to it being closely related to other species, it probably appeared much the same, but just 5 to 7 meters long. One key difference was a well-defined crest on its snout, as well as having a larger gap between its arms, highly curved and sharp teeth, and bits of bone embedded into its skin. An animal with such adaptations, and a huge size, must have made a formidable predator, but likely depended heavily on scavenging like the Komodo dragon. By looking at molecular data, we have found that most of its diet was comprised of large mammals like kangaroos, or the now extinct diprotodons a group of large wombat-like animals that once roamed the continent, with a small portion of its diet coming from other species like snakes and small marsupials. Some scientists have suggested that it was the principal predator of Australia's Pleistocene, but most are skeptical of this, as Megalania fossils are extremely rare, especially compared to the marsupial lion or quincana. Like the Komodo dragon, Megalania likely possessed venom. The venom would prevent blood clotting, causing the prey to bleed out. Its flat, wide, and lightweight skull was adapted for this hunting technique, optimized to deal with the larger prey of ancient Australia. Unfortunately, Megalania succumbed to extinction, meaning we may never know much about its behavior or adaptations. Around the same time when the last Megalania fossils date to was right around the time as humans arrived, by both using boats and the land bridge. Due to its bulky size, unlike other monitor lizards, Megalania would not have been able to outrun humans. And like much of the world's megafauna, the extinction of Megalania has mainly been attributed to human arrival, particularly the practice of burning forests and shrublands that destroyed much of Australia's natural vegetation cover. Although there is not solid evidence for this, with many disagreeing about the extent of species loss in Australia being attributable to humans. Many point to climate change as the culprit, but much of the evidence suggests that humans altering the landscape was what caused Megalania's decline, as well as other species of Australian megafauna. Every species plays a crucial role in an ecosystem, so if it goes extinct, 
its ecological role is not fulfilled, leading to a breakdown of the ecosystem. Some have called for the Komodo dragon to be released into the wild in Australia, to serve as an ecological proxy for Megalania to restore the ecosystem. Unfortunately, Megalania's story is not unique, with humans wiping out most of the megafauna on every continent except for Africa. But we can learn from our mistakes, and protect the species that are currently threatened with extinction, like the Kangaroo Island Dunnart, which was already extremely rare due to invasive cats eating them, and almost wiped out during the 2019 fires. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so you can see the next one.